In this video, we are going to be talking about why I signed up with Provido VPN and why you should sign up to Provido VPN or why you should sign up to a paid VPN rather than a freebie one. So with that, let's get on with it, shall we? So first things first, the freebie ones. You might be thinking, well, what's wrong with a freebie one, Yonky? Well, nothing really, but something you've got to bear in mind, because it's free, chances are it's going to be a virtual VPN, which can get hacked. And also, they will be paying someone else to look after it for them. So they will be renting out a server. Whereas a paid one, and I'm talking mainly about Provido VPN, a paid one is, or definitely with Provido VPN, is they have their own servers in all the countries that you sign up or connect to. They will have their own servers. They do not rent out servers. As far as I understand, I've read it online and that's what they're telling me. They use their own servers. They do not rent other ones. So that is the number one reason why you should go to a paid one rather than a free one. Also, they have 256-bit AES encryption. So perfect for protecting your privacy. Also, because they are based in Switzerland, they have a very strict consumer policy. Best of reason to use their VPN rather than someone else's. Like I said, I have signed up to them already and I am using it. So that is the reason I'm using it. So why would you want one anyway? Let's go through some of the reasons you want one or maybe the reason I want one. First thing is software. Some software is not available in certain parts of the world. So if you live in a certain part of the world, say for instance, you live in Africa and you wanted a play a game that hasn't been released yet, say for instance, is in America. You can connect to America using their VPN server that is located in America, and it will say, oh look, it's in America. Oh, I'll show you. And, oh yeah, you can have this bit of software. You purchase it, download it, now you've got it in Africa. Simple. Or say for instance, again, you're living, say for instance, you're living in America, and you have Netflix. But the program you want to watch, say for instance, is only available in the UK, and it's not available in America yet, but you want early access, you can connect to the UK server. Voila, you can now watch Netflix from the UK one, if you're in America. And again, say for instance, a BBC TV, it's not available, say for instance, in Switzerland, but you want to watch BBC TV. Simple connect to the BBC server, job done. Very simple, very easy to use. One of the other things you might consider using this VPN is they do give you a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you're not happy and you decide, you know, it's not for you, you've got 30 days you can pull out. Let's go through some of the other reasons that you might want to use a VPN as well. Ad blocker, for instance. Yeah, you can stop it sending you targeted ads because it doesn't know where you are. It thinks you're somewhere else when you're not. Threat protection, another good reason why you might want a VPN. It will stop malware, it will stop phishing and other online threats. So again, another good reason you should think about getting a VPN. Parent control, it does have built-in parent control so you can stop your children watching harmful content if you choose to turn it on. So we have secure your sensitive data, one-click security, global access, and fight censorship. Perfect. Everything you need in a VPN. That is the purpose of a VPN. Also, it starts as little as £1.99. It goes up to £10.99, depending on what you want. But for the basic minimal, it's only going to cost you £1.99, and it will give you a peace of mind. So that is a basic overview of why you should get a VPN. And yes, I do have this VPN, and yes, I am promoting this VPN, because I believe everyone should have secure virtual private network and I don't think you can go wrong with using this one it doesn't log your information whatever you do they do not log it so perfect for your privacy and perfect for protecting you and me of course because like I said I've got it so I just want to give you a basic overview why you should get a VPN and why perhaps you should get this one so let me know in the comments whether you think about getting one or you bought one or this has helped you to make your mind up whether or not to get one. Like I said, I've got this one and it's working perfectly. They do not log any of your data transferring backwards and forwards. So you should be very secure 
and it's perfect for, and it's just coming to my head, another reason. Say, for instance, you're in England and you've been watching a programme and you've been watching it, say, for instance, on Netflix, you're halfway through it and you go to, I don't know, you go to Germany or India and they don't have that programme. You can connect, for when you've got internet, of course, connect to the UK server, carry on watching your Netflix programme. See? Clever. So with that, let me know in the comments what you think about buying one, like I said, or paying for one, a monthly one, like I've got. Let me know in the comments what you're going to be doing. So with that, if you like this video, if you found it helpful, consider subscribing, click on the bell to get notified, and thank you very much for watching.